I'm sure you know the saying, you are what you eat. Well, this saying is true, especially when it comes to breastfeeding and the production of breast milk. Most of the time, what you eat can affect the quality, taste, and production of breast milk. It can even go as far as affecting the health of your child. While the production of breast milk is solely regulated by the body, the things that you put into your body, food and drink, can affect breast milk. Breast milk is very nutritious. It contains all the essential vitamins and minerals that a baby needs to survive. The quality of the breast milk a child receives in the first 6 to 12 months of its life can affect its growth and development. Therefore, you don't want to tamper with the quality of this essential superfood. One sure way to know that what you have eaten disagrees with your baby is by watching his or her reactions closely. Of course, they can't talk yet, but their bodies can communicate what is good for them and what is not. If you notice that your child starts stooling or has more gas than usual, or perhaps even that he or she is extra cranky, you might want to change your diet. But how do you know what to change? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we're going to be discussing what foods to avoid while breastfeeding. Number one, spicy foods. You love your peppers and hot sauce, we get it. But when some people eat spicy food, their stool tends to get a little watery. This might not be the case for you, but babies are not yet equipped to handle the spice. Some babies cope with it very well, while others don't. Like we said, your baby is the key identifier of foods that don't agree with them. So look out for their reactions. If your baby gets gassy or passes watery stools shortly after you've eaten something spicy, you need to cut back on the spice. Number two, caffeine. Of course, you should know by now that as a breastfeeding mother, you are not supposed to have more than two cups of coffee a day, so chances are that you've cut back on that already. But if you love your cup of green tea, chai tea, or even cold or hot chocolate, this is for you. We understand how refreshing these drinks can be, but you should cut down on them. If you would like to have just one cup, you should wait until you have finished breastfeeding before you have your drink. That way, by the next feed, it should have worked its way out of your system. These drinks only contain small quantities of caffeine, but if you have one cup too many, it can build up in your body and get into your breast milk. Babies cannot break down caffeine, so it just builds up in their bodies. This can cause them to have difficulty sleeping, or it might result in certain irritabilities, thereby making them extra cranky. Number three, certain herbs. No doubt herbs can do wonders for the body, but when you are breastfeeding, you want to be cautious about the herbs you are taking. It's not advisable to take any kind of herbs or herbal supplements without consulting your doctor first. Certain herbs are commonly used in cooking, although they are not a good option for breastfeeding mothers. These herbs include peppermint, parsley, and sage. Yes, we know that these herbs are full of flavor that can make a meal delicious, but they can also add a lot of this flavor to your breast milk, which is bad for various reasons. First, your baby is not accustomed to these flavors, which can be too intense. This can cause infants not to suckle as they should because they don't like the strange flavor of the breast milk. If your baby refuses to feed, he or she might become malnourished. These herbs are known to curb the production of breast milk, so it is advisable to stay away from them. Number four, fish that is high in mercury. Fish is a great source of protein and that is good for you and your baby. But the ones that are high in mercury are not such a good choice. Fish is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential for the development of a newborn baby's brain, but this important fat is hard to come by in other foods. Mercury is a hazardous element that is especially harmful to newborns and children because they are more susceptible to mercury poisoning. Acute mercury poisoning can have a long-term effect on your child's central nervous system. As a result, they may experience delays or impairments in the following areas, cognitive skills, basic motor skills, speech and language development, and visual spatial awareness. While it is important to guarantee sufficient intake of omega-3 while breastfeeding, nursing mothers should avoid fish that are high in mercury in order to lower the danger of mercury poisoning. Some fish that can be high in mercury include king mackerel, marlin, shark, big-eye tuna, and swordfish. Number five, alcohol. Abstaining from alcohol completely while breastfeeding is the safest option. The amount of alcohol your baby can acquire from breast milk is determined by how much you consumed and when you drank it. The level of alcohol in breast milk rises about one hour after your last drink. Furthermore, alcohol can stay in your bloodstream for two to three hours, and this relates to only for one drink. The more you drink, the longer it takes for the alcohol to leave your system. You cannot get rid of it by pumping out breast milk. If your baby gets alcohol into his or her system, it can cause irregular sleep patterns, delayed development of psychomotor skills, and even delayed development of cognitive skills. Number six, processed food and drinks. 
It is critical to eat well in order to produce highly nutritious breast milk. A healthy, balanced diet is essential when breastfeeding to fulfill your body's increased nutrient demands. Processed foods and drinks are high in saturated fats, calories, and added sugars. This translates to more calories and minimal actual nutrition for you, and that is bad. Some studies show that a mother's diet when breastfeeding may have an impact on her child's eating habits later in life. Frequent exposure to high-sugar, high-fat foods can lead to unhealthy eating patterns and obesity in your child. Because highly processed foods are high in calories, harmful fats, and added sugars with a low fiber, vitamin, and mineral content, it is best to restrict your intake of such foods. There you have it. Six foods and beverages you should avoid when you are breastfeeding. This will help to ensure that both you and your baby are healthy and strong. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure to comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on the notification bell so that you are the first to know about new uploads.